जोगन तेरा मारा रसिया जग जीता दरा रसिया I'll be taking the Mars Glow a Clock Primer which has a serum like consistency like this oh, and this one has a bubble gum like a candy kind of a fragrance this gives me a very healthy juicy kind of looking skin um it also gives me like a glass like finish you can see that i'm taking my time to massage this into my skin really really well so that it gets absorbed really nice into the skin really really recommended for dry skin then i'm taking the inside concealer palette for concealing and correcting i'm going to use i'm going to mix the orange and the peach shade and this cancels a lot of the discoloration i'm going to use that mainly under my eyes and around my mouth this also gives a little bit of that coverage once i'm done with color correcting i am going to move on to foundation for that i'll be using the nika all day matte foundation in the shade sand i think check the description box for the shade i've been using this quite a lot lately using this this velvet sponge by simply nam it blends liquid and cream products so beautifully you know i've spoken about this i like this foundation because you can see it gives a very smooth finish on the skin yet it looks very natural on the skin very skin like smooth finish and does not look very matte on the skin As to conceal further I'm taking the Swiss Beauty pen concealer in the shade medium beige and I'm going to be using that under my eyes around my mouth where I usually do and I'm going to take the same velvet sponge to blend it out this concealer has a medium to believable coverage As for my brows I don't have to do a lot so I'm just going to take my Sugar Arch Rival brow pencil shade in the shade top tom Uh, I think this is like a greyish brown kind of a shade. I'm going to use both the spoolie end and the pencil to fill the gaps that I have and also some uh which means on the ends and then I will be using this eyebrow eyebrow and lash mascara to set it in place. For eyeshadow I'll be using the Makeup Revolution Relove eyeshadow palette in the shade Empower and I'm taking this Cuffs and Lashes um focused blend which is like a focused blending brush and picking up this a deep cranberry reddish kind of a shade and packing that pigment only on the outer V of my eye for that smoky kind of an effect reminder to use an eyelash curler always I'm taking my favorite current favorite ma- mascara from simply nam is uh, one thing that i've started doing is being very patient in doing this and taking my own time to use a mascara now let's move back to the face uh, i'm going to be using a bronzer and for that i'll be using the wet and wild color icon bronzer and this is in the shade what shady beaches this is a very pigmented bronzer but i love the tone of this bronzer just the right amount of warmth the bronzer should have this on my cheekbones my forehead and jawline I'll be using as a very big fluffy powder kind of a brush today i'll be using a cream blush and this is the simply nam velvet cream magic blush in the shade sister from another mister this is like a salmon pink kind of a shade again and the formula of this is so so good it is so creamy smooth velvety after that i am going to spray my face with the mars seal the deal setting spray then i will be using a powder highlight one is from sugar this gives a nice um glowy look it's not very powdery but you can definitely build it up to a blinding look and it's really affordable and we'll be using that on my cheekbones on the highest points of my face my the bridge of my nose and some on my chin for lips i'm using a liquid lipstick i wanted to keep the lip lips bold this time so i went with this shade which is a very beautiful red deep red maroon kind of a shade and i think it just tied the whole look together and that is it for the video this is the finish this is the final look this definitely requires a little bit more effort than the usual makeup looks that i have uploaded for the festive season thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye